Hello, so this is going to be a brief overview on how to use the virtual networking portal for the European Conference on Information Systems. You, will, you should have received a username and a password with a link to access the portal in your email. Once you go to the login page, you will put in your username and password here. The first time you log in, it's going to ask you to set your own password and you will also have a time zone selection option. Once you log in, you will see the call to actions here on the main page and the menu option on the left hand side with the various options available to you as well. The first thing we highly suggest is in the upper right hand corner. You can go to your profile settings and update both your personal and organizational data. It will default you to your personal data and this area, this top area will be pop auto populated with your registration information. From there, you can add additional information like your location, your biography, social media links, or keywords if you're interested. Make sure that you save here at the bottom of the page any of the changes that you make. Same process will be used for your company or organizational data. You can upload your company logo, biographies, and social media links as well. The service also allows you to upload documents and videos, which you can do under the My Videos and My Documents tabs. The platform supports all document types, Vimeo and YouTube videos. The videos will need to be public form formatted videos. You can also upload product data through here and photos. At the bottom of the page here on the left, you'll see settings. This is where you can turn on and off your communication settings, and you can also update your time zone if needed. So back on the home page, you will see, like I said, the main call to actions. You have your agenda here that you can go to. So you can go in and you can see the conference days right at the top. Each of these bubbles are clickable and you can filter through the days. You have the search options here at the top and then you also have the advanced search options over here. What each of these pages does is gives you a full agenda of the day of each conference. When you look here, you'll see two time zones. The first time slot that you see will be the time zone that you selected when you first logged into the portal. The second one is the time zone for the conference. So pay attention to this first one as that's the time zone that you are currently in. At any point, you can add or remove things to your personal schedule with the icon here on the right. You'll see your personal schedule will populate here on the side. At any point, you can export your personal calendar through here, and we'll have it. There is also another calendar feature that you can use over here on the left hand side. All of these sessions, uh, individual sessions, are clickable, so you can go into the session if you click on it. At the bottom of the page, you can see options for speakers, a video stream, presentations, comments. And you can take notes in each of the speaker session or each of the sessions. These notes are only visible to you. In the details for each individual session are um, links to each paper that are located in the AIS e library. So if you click on each page or paper, it will take you to the e library where you can log in and download the paper for yourself. Lastly, to get into the event uh, live session, you will go here to the launch session button. This, this button will take you to a Zoom recording or a Zoom session, which is where all sessions will be live streamed. This is what you will click to actually go into the session itself. Next here, you have the profiles option. This is where you can network with other audience members. You can search at the top of the page, and then we also have advanced search options over here. Everyone's name is clickable, and you can go into their full profile or company page. You can see the call to action buttons here on the right. You can do meeting requests with people, send them direct messages, or add them to your favorites list. These three buttons over here, throughout the entire system, we'll pull up options for more communications. This 
Setting will also show you if the individual is speaking at a certain session and you can take notes on their profile itself. Your action items are also on this page. So if you go to meet me, you can schedule a meeting with this individual. You can select the day of the conference you would like to meet with this individual, set the duration of time that you would like to meet. You can select a time slot and the, all of these time slots show mutually available times. And as you'll see here, if you click one, it will give you the time in the time zone that you are in. And then this is the time zone that the conference is in. So paying attention to this first one will benefit you the most. You can choose if you would like a video meeting to enter your phone number or an individual conference link, which would be a Microsoft Teams or a Zoom link that you've created yourself. And after that, it is just like a subject line. You put your sub, or just like an email, put in your subject line and the description. You can also update your individual availability settings by going here and choosing when you are and are not available. Then once you have this finished, you will click invite and it will send an invite to the individual you're wanting to meet with. If you go to message me, you can go ahead and click. And as you can see, it will not give you any of the contact information for this person, but it will allow you to message them through the portal itself or as a push notification. You can, as I said, add it to your favorites here. So if you go back one step to here, quick view will just show you all of the information that this person has input and then you can view the full profile here. Going back to the main home page or the landing page, you can see session chairs here. If you have an interest in seeing what the session chairs, um, who the session chairs are, you have a meetings tab here. So the meetings tab will be anytime you set up an individual meeting with somebody, this is where they will all be. You can send a meeting request through this part as well. So you'd click here and then you can click the person that you are wanting to meet with. You can do group invites, so you can invite multiple people, but when you are doing a group invite, just keep in mind that a message will go to all of those people as a group and it will not send us individual messages. Coming here, the last thing um, I wanted to show you is the ESIS Cafe. And so this is a great place to network and meet fellow conference attendees virtually. If you click on this, it will take you directly to the Remo platform where you will be able to network. So over here on the left, you will see all of the things that we just went through and you will also see a social feed. And this is awesome because it allows you to upload photos, upload videos, um, upload documents, anything that you would like to share with other attendees. You can also, uh, it works just like Facebook or Instagram. You can go ahead and type in here and you can post the status. You can also search within the feed right here. If you come back over here, you can see your messages also right here. So any message that you send will pop up here. Or if you're wanting to send a message from here, you can go ahead and type in that individual's name, click on them, click this chat button or message button right here and then go ahead and type what you're wanting to say, post reply. If you message multiple people, all of their profiles and names will show up here. So you can just click the individual that you're wanting to chat with and your stream of messages will show up here on the right. So that is a quick run through for how to use the ESIS Event Hub. If you have any questions at all, you can contact support up here in the upper right down here. Uh, there's user guide and other notes that can be helpful, or if you'd like to send an email, you can send that to support at jujuma.com. Thank you so much.